Who the hell cares? I care! There you go again. What a deeply decent human being. And, uh, I need to ask you a favor. Don't tell Jen what happened between us. I don't believe this. I'm still in the middle of your relationship. I told Jen that she's the one I want to be with. I also told her that I was attracted to you for a while. I see. So it's just... I really should, you know, just tell her everything, get it over with. Why? I mean, what would that accomplish? People deserve to know the truth. Besides, it's like you said, nothing happened between us. It didn't go anywhere and it didn't mean anything. Laurel, that's not what I'm... You know what, Mark? I'll do what I decide is right. And you are the last person in the world who deserves to express an opinion about that. I'm walking down the hall thinking every one of these people knows and every one of them has an opinion. That's what I can't stand. Some of them may occasionally have been thinking about something else. Laurel Young, I hope she's really happy with herself. It wasn't Laurel. Of course it was. She was the only one who knew. It was me. I made a stupid crack to Craig because I figured he already knew. He didn't, but Aaron overheard us. And by then it was already too late. I'm really sorry, Jen. This is too much. If you want to hit someone, go ahead. I can't handle this. Give it a few days. Most of us have lives. We'll get over it. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Me and Mark, all of this. God, Shannon, what did I get myself into? Hey, babe. Hey. So, how are you? I am great. Hey, I never got to thank you for setting things up with Annika this morning. And I never got to ask you how she liked the presents. She hated them. She still thinks you're a pig, and she hates you. Sorry. <laughs> no, come on. You know I'm a nice guy. Convince her. Chris, you are so totally out of luck with Annika. It's spectacular. So I guess I try a little harder then, huh? Didn't you hear what I said? Oh, come on, Mouse. You're supposed to help me out here. What are you more interested in? Annika? Or winning your bet with Gil? What's that? He would really kill it for you if Annika found that out. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. But don't worry. I won't say anything. Will be quiet as a mouse. Are you all right? No, it's just wild. Though. All that prayer and shouting. Some of those guys were really flying. I'm glad you came. You were a little wild yourself. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter? Do you go to the rave three every week? Almost. Cause I don't know if I could, you know. Well, of course, you're not a Christian. Why are you? Because I believe in love. You mean God? Yes, but I mean us too. All of us. Mark and Jennifer. Mark and Jen? I think it's great that they found each other that way. You do? Making love is a part of love. And when it's with the right person, it's a pure, true, and spiritually evolving experience. So you're not against sex? I think sex is great. You mean you... No, of course not. I've never been in that sort of relationship. So how do two people achieve this pure, true, um, whatever it was love? I'd say it's a lot of work. They'd really have to know each other and respect each other for who they are. A relationship is a voyage of discovery. Jen McMahon, a blistering drive! 
How you doing? Oh, you know, the scarlet woman of A.C. McKinley High School. Yeah, right. Mothers, hide your sons. Ooh, I'll take my chances. Is that what you're here for? You shoot these scores? Oh, it never crossed my mind. I mean, is that what this relationship is becoming? No, of course not. Is that what you think? Sometimes. If we weren't having sex, would we still be together? Yeah, of course. Are you sure about that? Hey, well, we were together last week. Maybe you were right when you said we shouldn't have done it. Oh, but we did, and virginity isn't exactly retroactive. Mark, I'm not an idiot. Look, this is about today. You're still pretty upset. Turns out it was Shannon who told them. Shannon? Unintentionally, except I didn't know that, so I told Laurel off. Yeah? Maybe I'm just an idiot. Do you have a minute? To be honest, I don't really want to talk about me and your relationship. Especially since you don't have anything to do with it. I was wrong. I owe you an apology. It's not like it's your fault. Well, whose fault would it be? No one's. I mean, obviously you'd think it was me. Because of all the gossip about me and Mark. That was just Annika. Yeah. Sometimes she tells the truth and sometimes she invents it. Anyway, I just wanted you to know. I should get going. Listen, what we were talking about, you have nothing to apologize for. But maybe I do. And uh, you deserve to know the truth. Let's talk tomorrow.